Okay, so in the last tutorial I showed you how to use uh, primitives, how to put them in place and now we are, now I'm going to show you how they can work together. Um, what I didn't tell you in the last uh, tutorial is how to rotate something. Um, for example, if you have the cylinder and you want to rotate it in a way that it looks to the front. Then you first have to select a rotation axis, which is a bit quirky now, but if I want to rotate it around the x-axis, then I have to make the x-axis 1 and the z-axis 0. And the angle is then, for example, 90 degrees. You see also that the position changed now. And of course you have to correct that again. So let's just <coughs> undo it with Ctrl Z. Oh, and then I just lost my complete cylinder. That's a pity. Um, Okay, let's quickly do it again. That is 12. And that is... Uh, let's make it 4. And the position is... 5 and 5. With uh, the tap button you can just uh, move through these uh, menus. Okay, now like this. And um, for example, if I want to subtract the cylinder from the box, then I first select the box, then with control pressed, I uh, press the cylinder. I think on Mac it should be something like a command that you have to hold, uh, like the Apple key. And then I make a cut out of two shapes. Bam! And then we have a hole through this box, which is very nice. Um, even nicer is that the box and the cylinder still exist, they are just hidden. If you click on, for example, the cylinder, and then with your spacebar, you can have it visible again. Um, if you just click on it, so it's still invisible, you can go and change the placement, for example. It is still interactive, so if I want to change this to 6, you see that the hole is moving, which is uh, very nice, because then you can always change uh, your shape uh, while you are designing, which is a very nice way of designing, so uh, you can always go some step backs, steps back. If you don't like uh, this setup at all, for example, if you don't want to cut them out or join them together, you just can go on the this cut and then uh, delete it. I think for Mac users, if I do it like this, uh, it appears to be edit and then delete. And for other computer system users, they can just use the delete button. If I want to join these two shapes together, I also select them both and then I make a union out of it. So now they are basically melted together and then also again I can change the size, I can change the position. Uh, like this you can build up a lot of uh, shapes, which is very nice and interactive way of doing it. But there is an even smarter technique and that is what I will show you in the next video tutorial.